Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully uh, my audio uh, is coming through clearly for you all today. I'm using a new stream setup, so hopefully it sounds good. Let me know in the chat uh, if uh, you see any issues. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, I know that this has been going around the internet for uh, the last few weeks since it's released, plus there's some beta videos, and I... I don't know. I just found it super interesting. I know there's been uh, some, you know, people kind of touring their different favorite places uh, around the country, and thought, you know, why not? Let's let's go see some NASA sites. Uh, what's up, Zena? What's up, Parker? Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, let me know where y'all are at in the world. It's pretty cool to see who's um, who's watching. It's uh, I'm on the East Coast, Washington D.C. It's nine nine thirty at night here. Figure we'd do this for a few hours and kind of explore together. Um, let me know if my... Well, you guys are responding to me, so I guess the audio is working just fine. Um, if everyone spams F, I'll donate 10K. I doubt that, Parker. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Uh, so, anyways, um, we've got... Uh, well, we've got the game going on here. Uh, all right, looks like my on-screen chat is working. This is all new to me, so uh, we are going to do free flight. If you have this game, you can join in with me, uh, which is really cool. So um, first we're going to pick our departure airport, um, which is going to be uh, the uh, shuttle landing facility for some reason. Have it sticky key or something. No. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not it. Sorry, everybody. My. Uh, all right. Weird. Okay. Shuttle landing facility in Titusville. Um, I am not going to pick an arrival airport because I do not want to be annoyed by that. Um, flight conditions. Uh, so if you're going to join with me, um, just pick the, uh, the uh, NASA shuttle landing facility. Um, I welcome anybody and everyone to join. Let me know what your gamer tag is so uh, I, can, I can see you. Maybe we can fly in formation and see some of these cool, location, cool locations. Um, I am going to pick something. Let's see. What aircraft should we fly in today? Um, I was actually able to land this CJ-4 on Starhopper's landing pad last night, and I tried to take a picture, but it was just too late. It wasn't really working. Um, oh, hello. You and your cat say hello from Virginia. Uh, thanks, Rab. What's up, everybody? So, uh, okay, so let me know in the chat what aircraft you want me to fly. I'm not flying the 747. I will crash it. Let's not do any, no airliners um, today. Um, and let's not do the jet either. Let's just keep, stick with a prop. But I'd like one that's pretty fast. So I'm looking at the cruise speed here. Well, uh, let's see. But I also want to be inside. I don't want to get cold. A savage cub. Oh, the cub. Uh, let's see. Oh, the sap 91 knots. No, we're not flying the knot. That's way too slow. Um, let's pick the... Uh, uh, 120, 150, 171. All right, let's pick let's pick this guy. All right. Um, any liveries? I have no idea how to customize that. Nope, clearly cannot. Okay. Flight conditions: uh, not nine o'clock at night. Let's pick like eleven o'clock in the morning. That way we can see what we're looking at. We got live traffic set. And, uh, okay, I think we're ready to go tour Kennedy Space Center, so let's boot her up. Um, also, I've never flown this aircraft before, uh, so hopefully it is, uh, I don't know, like, stable and easy to fly. How, uh, hopefully the stream quality is good on your end, uh, so you guys can let me know in the chat. Oh, what's up? My brother Connor is on, everybody. Say hi to Connor. Um, yeah, let me know how the um, 
extreme quality is uh, I set this to 1080p 60 so we get all that sweet sweet frame rate but I have no idea how it's actually being received on uh, for you all can you turn your mic volume up yes I can let me know if it's too hot now I just set the sensitivity up but we can crank it up even higher if need be all right can you swear here? I prefer if you did not. Okay. Oh, also, I'm a peasant. I do not have a game. I do not have a joystick. I am flying keyboard and mouse. Um, and I have to use like a hack to do that. So if for whatever reason we go inverted, uh, it's not on purpose, but I will likely be able to get us out of it. So. Uh, Okay, um, where were we? Oh, yeah, we have to fly the airplane. So, currently, before we take off, we're at the shuttle landing facility. Um, and actually, usually off to the side here in real life, they would act, there's actually a shuttle mock up here uh, that they would use for trainings. Um, but it is not here. Um, this building, off in the distance, we see here, this block building is actually the vehicle assembly building. Um, it does not look very good. Oh, looks like we got somebody here also flying my aircraft. I cannot see the gamer tag. Maybe I messed something up. Um, please let me know in chat if I need to fix that. Set flaps 10. Roger. That should get us there. Uh, okay, so let me uh, set my uh, fake joystick really quick, and we can go flying. We're too close, so we won't be able to see my gamer tag. Okay, Jeb, thank you very much. Perfect. Uh, okay, so one moment while I enable my fake mouse. All right, flaps are good. All right, we're going to kill our parking brake. And... Uh, Let's go flying. All right. Jeb, let's not crash. I, I will admit flying with a mouse is really hard, but better than not flying, I guess. Uh, a little too. Let's... No idea when to pull up with this thing. All right, that's how, that's good enough, right? Flipped our gear, super slick, low altitude gear raise. All right, so we are heading uh, about north northwest right now. Uh, this landing strip is super unique. Actually, here on the right here, uh, that's where the uh, mock-up shuttle is usually parked, where you see that truck, but. Uh, they don't have a space shuttle model in this game, so we're not going to see it. Alright, so uh, as you go further north at Kennedy, uh, it gets just more and more wilderness. There is a, it's a huge plot of land. Uh, there really is nothing up on the far north end here that's uh, worth seeing, so we're going to bank right here. Inside the aircraft really quick. We can see the map. We have the uh, Atlantic Ocean out there ahead of us. And uh, we're going to go fly over pad 39 uh, B and A. Let me know if the audio is coming in uh, loud enough for y'all. Bring it up a little more. Test one, two. Okay, so up here on the right, we have pad 39B, which is the future home of the space launch system, and uh, and maybe the uh, Northrop uh, solid rocket. Um, oh my God, Vega? No. Someone please remind me of the boot, the rocket, Omega. Omega. So this pad was it was going to be shared with the Space Launch System and Omega, but 
probably Omega is not going to make it. It didn't get any of the NRO or DOD contracts they were hoping to get. So that may be dead on arrival. Um, so true to form, uh, pad 39B has no tower on it anymore, no rotating server structure. They stripped it all down and refurbed it for SLS. So not really much to look at here. Uh, looks like they got a couple uh, buildings here. Oh, we're actually passing some really cool stuff. We'll, we'll loop around. I'll, I'll, I'll point out to you. Uh, off the right here, you'll see where uh, the crawler is going to go uh, to bring the SLS. And then up ahead, we have pad 39A, the home of SpaceX and the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Uh, they have a poor man's launch tower here. Uh, this ta launch tower was originally, uh, actually, originally, originally, parts of this were for the Saturn V. Uh, on the mobile service structure, the mobile launch tower uh, that they would uh, tow out on the uh, on the what do you call it uh, the crawler, and then uh, when the shuttle when once when, when Saturn V was retired and they were prepping uh, the Cape for shuttle, they um, actually uh, took a lot of those parts and used them for the the, the tower for the space shuttle. And then when the space shuttle retired, SpaceX took the old uh, tower, um, in uh, took the old tower, refurbed it, and so there are components on this tower that were actually used from the first Apollo missions. So I think that's really cool that a lot of that heritage is still around. Uh, but there is not really much to see in the game. Uh, I'm curious to see if Microsoft is going to let modders provide like models and updated models and skins and stuff to the buildings because i mean i don't know if you guys know this the washington monument is like an office building apparently in washington dc so clearly they haven't really uh there's a lot of like monuments and like important national locations that aren't really done yet and i would say nasa facilities at least uh, maybe i'm biased should be done up ahead we have the vehicle assembly building uh, up here, we're just passing over on the left here where they actually park the crawler, um, oftentimes, uh, for maintenance. Um, but we are going to pass the, um, vehicle assembly building. Looks like they have a fake crawler <laughs> on, on, down on the bottom right here, which they've made a building. So there's that. Okay. Uh... But the vehicle assembly buildings up here on the right, the little building you see just off to the left of it is actually uh, launch control uh, for uh, much of the uh, Falcon, uh, the crude, the crude Falcon launches at least, and then where SLS will be uh, run, and then this little building attached to the vehicle assembly building. I'm gonna fly right over it is a shuttle processing facility. That's where they would bring the shuttles and park them and get them ready to go uh, be stacked. Uh, but now that's where Starliners are being built. Uh, built and refurbed. So, okay, we're gonna do one more pass and then we're gonna keep going down uh, the uh, the row, which is lovingly, lovingly renamed ICBM, well, nicknamed ICBM row, which is where a whole bunch of the ICBMs were tested back in the late 50s and 60s, um, which have recently been, well, were later converted into uh, launch pads for other rockets that are still in use today. So we got a solid amount of people, 52, what's up everybody? What are my PC specs? Uh, Ryzen 3800, I think it's a 3800, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, uh, Nvidia 1070, GPU, um, amongst, amongst lots of other camera type of hardware. Uh, let me know if we're passing over anything that you want me to, to circle over again. I just wanted to go over uh, really quick the shoreline because if you've ever taken, uh, done a tour of uh, the the of KSC, 
um, a bus tour. They will take you over here where they actually have the launch cameras uh, mounted. So all of those really beautiful, like, mega telephoto lens cameras uh, for shooting, for filming the rockets very far away. We're going to be flying over them right now. Uh, they used to be have people in them. Now they don't. Now it's, now they're all, it's all remotely controlled. Uh, let's see if I can point it out. Um, let's see. I don't see it here. I'm actually probably going a little... Oh, I have zero throttle right now. That's not good. Oh. Sounds like somebody's near me. Oh, I think that might be Jeb. Yep. What's up, buddy? Uh, okay, we're flying over it right now. Uh, this little parking, this little pad area here is where actually the cameras are for rocket launches, uh, which are controlled remotely. So, all right. Let's, let's crank up the uh, airspeed here and work our way down ICBM row. We're going to pass Slick 40... Slick 41, which is where SpaceX and ULA launch uh, their uh, their rockets. Uh, we've got uh, first coming up here is Slick 40. Yeah, E77. Anybody can join. Um, anybody can join. Uh, you can uh, just come join live and come meet us up at Kennedy. Uh, we, we took off at the uh, shuttle launch complex. Uh, so right here, I believe this is Slick 40. I can't remember if it's Slick 40 or Slick 41, but this is where ULA... Oh, looks like we're making another friend. Uh, uh, this is where ULA launches their uh, Atlas, Atlas V. And then coming up next is Slick 41, which is where uh, SpaceX launches only their Falcon 9. I find it entertaining because it's parked off of uh, Centaur Road, and uh, Centaur, for those of you who know, is the second stage of, uh, well, many different rockets, but it is uh, not a, uh, it's not a uh, SpaceX uh, second stage uh, engine configuration. So we're flying right over that right now. You can see uh, the horizontal uh, vehicle assembly building. That they have there. I feel, I feel like I hear someone coming up hot here. Okay. Okay, so coming up here. Oh no, I don't know if that guy's gonna make it. Yeah, I think he'll go make it. <laughs> I want to see if anybody can hang with me on camera. I'm being pretty chill right now. Okay, so uh, right here is actually uh, where there's two launch pads here. This is where the Delta IV Heavy is launched. Uh, and then uh, we're going to pass. we gain some altitude here real quick. All right, so the next notable pad. Uh, there are some other pads over here um, that are not much less active. You can see all these little spaces. Um, and... This is ICBM row. We're passing over it. Um, there's like a ton of launch pl launch pads here. Um, a lot of them are actually um, retired, uh, or they're dormant. They're dormant. Let's just say that. Um, so the next cool thing we're going to pass are the two landing pads that SpaceX uses for their Falcon nine, Falcon nine, and Falcon Heavy. Yep. So. Tonight's launch, we're gonna if you if you hang out for the crack of dawn, or actually I think it's pushed the Saturday astronomy films. Can you and and the shuttle landing Yes, that's where we took off from, the shuttle landing facility. So uh, we're gonna go I'm gonna do a close flyby here of the SpaceX landing pads. These were actually um, launch pads at one point, and SpaceX with their uh, lease with NASA, was able to rip them up and put landing pads, uh, which makes a lot of sense. And then right here, this this space we're passing over right now, this big space here, this is where 
the um, Blue Origin New Glen will be launching from. So this pad, this is the pad that's being built right now for Blue Origin for their massive New Glen rocket. And I will be pointing out here where their rocket factory is, but I do not think it's like in the game uh, because they're using this game uses Bing maps from Microsoft, and I'm not sure if they updated the maps for this. So let's continue our tour. We're currently over Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Uh, Home of the 45th Weather Squadron. I think it's in Cape Canaveral. Basically, they handle all of the range logistics and safety. And they, they do a lot of work. Uh, work really tightly with NASA and with SpaceX. And clearly, I mean, ULA, SpaceX, and Blue Origin all have pads uh, here. So, all right. So, we're going to go. We're going to work our way back up the Cape here real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Boeing 74815. You've made it on camera. I don't know who you are. Can I land? Yeah, I can land. Everybody, go subscribe to Overlook Horizon. He makes awesome videos. Um... Oh, yeah, Joe, we'll, we'll go there. If people want to hang, we'll go there. I may actually need to get a faster airplane. Because <laughs> this is going to take a while. Um, but I do want to take you guys over to where Boeing builds their uh, new Glen right now. And it's insanely big fairings. Um, so up ahead on the right, you will see uh, the vehicle assembly building and the shuttle landing strip. Um, which is stupid long because the space shuttle... Uh, was a f aircraft that needed a long runway. I'll just put it that way. It came in hot. Uh, if you looked at its um, the trajectory it had to take on landings, it was just like like a regular airplane is like a nice like thirty degree like diagonal line, where the space shuttle is like almost vertical. Then they would just flare up and just not basically not crash. All right. I like this. We're flying in formation-ish. Okay, so we're actually going to be flying over some really cool NASA stuff really quick here. So I'm going to pull back. There's a bunch of really important facilities here. Um, this is where a lot of the uh, the astronaut um, uh, a lot of astronaut training facilities are here. Uh, this is where they prepare all of the. Um, uh, satellites and uh just anything that's going to be going on board any spacecraft are is all processed here uh we're not going to spend much time there's a bunch of office buildings and things of that nature but a lot of really cool uh work is done here uh all right so oh actually the blue origin factory is here so we will point that out but before we go there i'm gonna we're gonna go to the visitor complex which is straight ahead here um oh there's Jeb. So we have two aircraft circling around. Um, so let's see what we can see here. There's so typically there is the rocket gardens. They have a Saturn One B. They have a space though. They have they have Atlantis inside that building, but you can't see it. So we're gonna. Oh no, the Saturn One B is a building. Okay, right here, what you see here, this big warehouse looking thing, this is where um, Blue Origin is building their uh booster sorry i'm getting lag right now i do not know why this is sad let me make sure my computer isn't like crashing well this is sad We were doing really well there, everybody. Oh. Oh, the lag went away. Alright. No idea what happened there. Oh, 
dude. I miss. I love it here. I really love it here. All right, so we just flew over. We're Boeing builds their new blood. All right, it's just a factory. Uh, but there, there, we might be able to see. I'm gonna try to get some altitude so we can kind of look over. We got the visitor center. Okay, yeah. Okay, they made the. If you look down there to the bottom left, they made the Saturn one Saturn one B a pointy building. So we're gonna kill our engine here. Let's try to slow ourselves down. See that pointy building I left there? That was supposed to be the Saturn one B. Okay. Um We have that. Uh boy, what else? There's a lot gone. Almost all of the Not Boeing builds New Glenn. Joe, you caught me. Not Boeing. I'm too, doing too much where Blue Origin builds New Glenn. Blue Origin builds New Glenn. Um, so we've done this. Uh, boy, what else can I show you here before we go to the next spot? Oh, I know what I can show you. I can show you really quick where um, the... Uh, other starship SN2 was being built. Rest in peace. Uh, that was being built over in Cocoa Beach. Um, so let's wait. I am just gonna try to go as fast as I can. It's over here. Um, we'll give this like five, couple minutes here and see if it takes us a while. Mark two. You know, hosting and flying a strange airplane is much harder than y'all think. Um, these airplanes are a lot faster than me. I feel like they're actually jets. Why? Uh, maybe... Does, does this game only, only pull the models of your airplane? Is that what it does? I think we're gonna get a jet next time. We gotta get cooking here, man. Yeah, um, Boeing 74815, please check your distance. We have a family of four on board. Two future Martians. Oh, my flaps are up. How could you dislike this video? We're having too much fun. You're not allowed to dislike my video. Actually, yes, you are. Everybody's allowed to do whatever they want. Um, I think this is Coco. I'm completely losing my marbles. It might be more south. Yes, please maintain your social distance, Boeing 74815. I will... Be nice to me, Dino. Alright, I um I'm fairly confident I've completely lost my bearings and these maps do not show where I am. I'm pretty sure straight ahead so there's supposed to be a bridge here, but it's just not because, you know, big maps. So Yeah, all right. Okay, well, let's put, let's set her down and let's go somewhere else. All right, where do we want to land? Space Coast Regional. We're gonna put her down at Space Coast Regional. And we're going to pick a faster airplane. I don't know how you're so fast, Boeing 74815. We're coming in. We're going to come in here. Coming a little too fast. I feel like we're good. This is how you land on an aircraft carrier. Coming in on a hook. 
I only know that because I flew backseat with a Navy pilot once, and uh, they land fast. They no joke. This is actually really conservative. Drop more flaps. Well, this is what you're going to get from me, alright? Sorry. Alright. Oh, let's bleed off a little bit more speed. And touchdown. And up, touch up. And touchdown. Alright. Let's just crush those brakes. That was dope. All right, not bad for my first take with this airplane. All right, my wingmen here. Let's go to, where do I want to go next? Let's just, let's go to, let's go, let's go to Cocoa Beach. Not Cocoa Beach, let's go, let's go to uh, where they're building Starship. Gonna go back to main menu. Hope you guys are having fun. We were just there, not Coco. Um, sorry, when I'm streaming, like my brain kind of breaks. Uh, we're going to Texas. Oh, hey, look, there's that like horrible hurricane. Corpus Christi. Boca Chica. Yeah, Tom, I was a little bummed out, but you know what? We're going to go here. This is our departure. Um, and I can kind of show you where even where the live stream cameras are. Um, so there's that. All right. So this is 171 knots. I want something faster. Do we got anything faster? 195 knots, okay. Well, 451, that's gonna be really fast. Although I was able to land it on a dirt road last night. Yo, you know what? Uh, Brownsville, South Padre, KBRO, we're taking off from there. Um, I've never flown an airliner. Uh... Until now. We're flying the airliner. Uh, I definitely cannot. Looks like we have two aircraft up flying around already. So we're going to have to make some friends. Um, people are flying over there right now. Looks like we have some SpaceX fans taking a look. Connor... You know, the thrust reversers are great, if only I knew how to use them. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to need a long runway to stop this booger, because I have no idea how to really stop. I, I don't even know how to use air brakes. Can somebody look up the hotkey for air brakes uh, in Flight Simulator? Please let me know. <laughs> this will be a successful star line. Yeah, probably. This one from like a twin turbo prop to. Oh lord. I'm already kind of scared. Okay. Yo. She big. She thick. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Alright. There's only a million switches in here. Uh. That's the radio. <laughs> and. Oh, the parking brake. We know what that does. All right, let's just... Nailed it. Um, uh, engines look like they're on. Everything is green and not red, so that's a good sign. Oh, I should probably change the camera angle. Sorry, you don't just be looking at my face. There we go. Uh, I th uh, and then this is the, the, the trim, right? The autopilot. Okay. Um, and that's where my iPad goes, but I don't have it with me today. So 
I do like this, though, that they have a stick for the airplane. Okay. Um, trim is next to thrust levers. Dino, listen. I, I just know how to pull up. <laughs> That's where my skill set lies. Left, right works. Up, down works. Okay. We're going to kill this park. Oh, no. We're going to full thrust before we... All right. We are currently facing... Oh, okay. I guess the engine's so strong... The parking brake. Oh, I had already killed it. Is there a way to see the airplane that other people are actually flying? Or can I only see what other people are flying? Drop flaps a notch. Probably should have done that before we started moving. Take off. Oh, uh, yeah. You keep seeing these things that... Because of the my my hacks, the game thinks that I have a, an Xbox controller, but I don't. All right, so yo, this airplane is fast. All right, is that Boeing again? Nine o'clock. Feeling the heat right now. Okay, I'm just trying to get us pointing east because that's where the ocean is, or the Gulf of Mexico, and that'll help us find where SpaceX is working. And, oh, overspeed. Can anybody explain to me what that means? Like, there's such thing as too fast? Am I, like, overheating the engines or something? <laughs> yeah, Joe. I do have enough fuel to get to Mexico. Maybe we go land in Mexico City. It doesn't like how fast I'm going. Yes, too fast. Can rip apart your plane or kill the engines? Oh! Alright, we don't want to do that. We'll keep slowing down then. Probably because we're probably going too fast for our altitude. Alright, we have a lot of people circling around up here. Um, which means that the people are looking for... Okay, so, I'm gonna stop talking about the airplane. Let me just slow down so this thing stops, shuts up. We're gonna see Boca Chica Village. I know that it's on here. Um... Dang. Oh my gosh, please be quiet. I'm going... Not that fast. Can I kill the this warning anywhere in here? Does anybody know that? Oh, okay. It's, it's not that anywhere. Pull, pull up, kill power. Oh, yeah, that would have been a quick way to slow down. A experienced pilot would know that. All right. So, up ahead... We have, or these, all these airplanes are flying around. This is where SpaceX is building Starship. At least I'm pretty sure. Although this, I feel like this looks different than where I was yesterday. So maybe I am in the wrong place. We are in the wrong place. This is not where they're building it. Hold up. Up ahead here, though, is where... Um... Uh... Lab Padre has a bunch of his, uh... Stuff. Yep. I'm at Padre Island. Ah... <sighs> Da-da-da-da-da... We're flying VFR, everybody, and we have not prepared anything. Alright. I will tell you... Huh? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Yep. Okay. 
Straight ahead, up here just above my wing to the right is where the launch complex or launch pad area is. Uh, and this little yellow, white clear pad I'm about to fly right over that we're about to buzz. I'm pretty sure this is the same location Starhopper landed and now is basically where they're building out. Oh, pull up. Jesus. Nope. Nope. That's a bad... Nah, we ain't gonna make it. Oh, we did. We made it. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, let's not do that. This airplane is not agile. My tummy has scratches now. Oh boy, this airplane is not happy right now. Going this slow and making turns. Yeah, I basically just we did we we did a touch and go at uh, Starhopper uh, landing pad. Everybody, all right. Hopefully, we'll turn this right or over. Flying with the mouse is not easy. Okay. All right. Let's not get that close to the ground this time, TJ. Turn the plane. Okay. All right, so this is the overspeed. I get that. I get it. I get it. Not happy. Okay. Pull up. I'm trying to pull up. So this is uh, Boca Chica Village over here on the left. And where they are building um, all of the components for Starship. Um, I kind of wish there were helicopters in this game. Slow down, but I think I'm gonna try to put this Airbus A320. Um, I think we're gonna land it at Boca Chica Village, and then uh, we will move on to our next uh, location. How does that sound? Uh, the SpaceX Resort. Um, well, what we do know is that it's a lunch break area that they've made out of uh, old Starship fins. Um, I don't know where the resort is going. I'd imagine uh, Vandenberg might be really good, Connor. I think we take off from LAX and fly over SpaceX and then go up to Vandenberg. I think that's the play. Yes. I had a slow plane last time I read it, then I picked a way too fast of an airplane. So, oh, this landing is not going to happen. We are just going to try to, we're going to shuttle it right now. We're going to come in steep. Slow down as much as we can. Oh, this ain't going to work. Alright, there's Boca Chica Village. Does anybody know what the air brake is? Do we have an air brake? Anybody? Alright, we're gonna land in the swamp. It's Boca Chica Village. Let's see how accurate these graphics are. Alright. Well, I only missed it by about a mile. Okay. Yeah, we're totally gonna land in the Gulf. Uh, Kill, kill the engine, brake. We're skidding. Oh, don't land in the water. Oh, we're in the water, but it's shallow water. Stop, 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 stop. We did it. Yay. Parking brake. Airplane's still moving. Okay, well, my engines are dead. Um, okay. Well, thank you for flying. Um, I need more space airways. I uh, hope you enjoyed this flight, and I hope you enjoy your visit to Boca Chica, Texas, home of SpaceX and the Starship. Um, so we are going to go... Yes, I did scare the hell out of some poor fishermen. Dang straight. Uh, we're going to go to Vandenberg. 
Um, let's see. Oh, Jeb's coming in. Same path as me. A little bounce action. Jeb, you're going to want to use those uh, landing gear, Jeb. Oh, maybe he did. I just not, just not rendering on my end. Okay, these planes are very impressive. All right. We gone. Please, does anybody know if I can see, if there is a setting I can do where I can see what aircraft they pick, rather than everybody, me seeing only my airplane? Caitlin, you can land wherever you want when you're good enough. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Um, oh, I'm online. Yes, and I'm East Coast Surfers. Yes. No. Dag on it. Doing that thing again. One second. Uh, we are going to take off from, mm, yeah, LAX. That's Axel. Everything's inverted. LAX. Okay, something's wrong with my mouse. Hold on one second. Let me leave the game. Come back. See that? I'm putting typing LAX. It's putting XAL. All right. We're just going to pick it on the map because my computer is dumb. Oh, all right. Oh, boy, this is going to be busy. Does anybody know what these dots mean? Oh, these are parking. Okay, I'm not going to play a game to park. We're going to take off from LAX. Oh, let me pick the runway. I want to pick, I want to take off from, go, from here going this direction. I'm going to set that six hours, my departure. We are not going to fly an Airbus. We are going to fly the 747, obviously. No. No. Oh, flying out of Hawthorne makes a lot more sense. Yeah, sorry. Okay. You're right. That should just be like right here. There's Downey. Englewood. Maybe I'm. I have literally been here. Multiple times. It's not that far from the airport. It's not as far as Anaheim. Maybe I have to zoom in more. Inglewood. Hawthorne. Oh, all right. We're going to take off from there. And let's pick... I think we get that, like, Learjet. This might be easier to fly. Fly the Cessna Citation. But I missed. Oh, I keep forgetting that I'm not transitioning my angle. Okay. The Textron Aviation? The, oh yeah, this has not take... <sighs> I'm not as dumb as I look. I promise. Alright. In the early morning, we'll fly over SpaceX. It'll be great. We're going to take off from here. Alright, so everybody, we're flying from Hawthorne. Thank you for your patience, everybody. It's very nice of you. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. Uh, we are expecting turbulence on today's flight as we do very close flybys of SpaceX's uh, rocket factory as well as uh, low flybys of Vandenberg Air Force Base. So there will be a little rumble, there will be a little tumble, but I think uh, it'll be views that you will have never seen. 
because you can't see this in real life because it would be very illegal. So, yeah. As soon as it loads. Not sure if anybody's new here. I haven't really done any reintroductions or anything. Um, it'll take a while to get to Edwards and Vandenberg. Well, Vandenberg's like 140 miles northwest of LA. If I remember right. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take that long. Yeah, but I'm going in an airplane. So it's like a lot faster, I would hope. It'll take over an hour to fly? In this jet? All right, well, if it takes that long, then we will just go, we'll relocate, I guess. Okay, Connor is absolutely right. I can, and there is a way to do it. If I knew how to use the computer on the airplane. Again, this is where my skills, my technical skills lack, but my natural skills as a pilot excel in this game. All right, well, while we're hanging out here, I might as well pump that I'm now on Patreon. You can find me on patreon.com slash I need more space, where we'll do all kinds of fun live streams like this. Uh, you'll get discount on merchandise, uh, help me write scripts and pitch ideas and all that kind of stuff. So if you like the videos I make, uh, please consider being a patron. Patreon.com slash I need more space. Link is in the description below. Um, all right. But just watching is great too. Has COVID-19 ended? No. Connor, what is a GNS 430? Oh, Jeb, thanks. Thanks for putting the link in the chat. I assure you every penny I earn goes back into making more videos. So just... This does not look like... Oh, wait, it does. Okay. Oh, hot dog. We got a ton of air traffic here. Oh my god, look at all those people. Alright, well SpaceX is up here on the right. Oh, look. Cars. Alright. Alright. Enough talking, TJ. There's a... How do I reset this? Yes, I actually wrote down some of the commands so I could remember. Good thing I did that. All right. Let's go visit Uncle Elon. Can you fly a biplane? I just flew an Airbus. So, yes. Oh, little double bounce for good luck. This sucker goes very fast. Um, nope, we are totally at LAX. Sorry, everybody. I was like, I'm looking at this airport. I'm like, this is much bigger than I thought. And then, yeah, we're at LEX. All right, so SJ Fly 2 is already at Hawthorne because he actually listens. Jeb, that is. Oh, I'm already going. We're already going too fast. Okay. Okay, we're here now. Okay, so you see the landing lights here on the left. That is Hawthorne. Yep. Oh! Okay, so you should see, like, the word Tesla on top of it. Okay, see that X? That is where they build the rockets. We're going to do another flyover here. Overspeed, yes, I get it. I heard you. 
Alright, we're gonna pull up, as my brother would recommend. We gonna slow down this airplane. We gonna slow her down. Okay. And we'll just bring the nose down. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have your puke bags at the ready because we are going to do some high-G maneuvers very abruptly and unprofessionally. Well, okay. Okay, so where you see SJ Fly 2, that is Jeb, that is Hawthorne Airport, and to the left of it is where SpaceX builds the Falcon 9. Let's point the nose down a little bit. See that X on top of that building? Um, you know, if you at the bottom left of that, there's supposed to be a used Falcon 9 stage, uh, but uh, it's not there. Um, the Boring Company is also over here. Pull up. Oh, we're going to pull. We go and do a little, a little, little flyby here. Boom! That was fun. Now the computer's saying landing here, it's not happy with me. Alright. There's really not much to see. That was kind of blah. Um Okay, let's pick up some let's get pick up some speed and altitude. Oh boy, please pull up. Okay, we ain't gonna make it, boys. This ain't gonna end well for us. Yeah, no, we're in the ground. How does it not crash? We just went into an underpass. I'm gonna kill the engine. Save some gas. Um, I have crashes off. Well, Jeb, crashes are the fun part. All right, well, now that I'm on the ground, we're going to end this um, nightmare. Jeb, can I turn crashes on? Like, I'm flying a multi-million dollar airplane, half the fun is crashing it. Yeah. But you would have crashed five times maneuvering like that. Oh, I see, I see, because of like my over speeding and all of that. Maybe it's best I don't have crashes on. Hmm. Uh we'll overstress it. Okay. Alright. You've convinced me. Okay, we go move. Um I did click Hawthorne. Why did it take me to LAX? Alright. Vandenberg Air Force Base. We go on Vandenberg. Set his departure. Um, I don't really want to fly the biplane because it's really slow. I will, however, fly. Um. Which one says I'm rich, but I'm not, like, filthy rich? That's why I want to fly. The cub will be slow. Fine. Well, if we're going to fly the cub, we might as well fly the biplane. Nah. All right, we'll fly the cub. I have no idea how to turn crashes even on, so. Uh, 
Oh, we can. All right, whatever. Too rich for pistons, too poor for jets. Yeah. Is the King Air an option? I don't know, Connor. I don't know. Um, okay, once we've done the Vandenberg, we are going to go to Wallops. I know that area very well. I can get there. I can get us there by eye. Vandenberg, traffic, Savage, Alpha, Sierra, X -ray, Golf, Sierra, Tegu, I've never flown here before. Nor I. I know the least about. Um, I know the least about Vandenberg. Have had. Oh, my airplane looks tough. It is about four pixels. What in the world? The savage go Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a passenger. That's fun. Let's look at the inside of the airplane really quick. Oh, yes. This is definitely not the Airbus. We got a throttle. We got the yoke. Uh, oh, we got a little compass. Cute. Okay. Red switches that we don't... Ignition off. Oh, because ignition. Okay. Altitude warning. Um, all right. We got a little radio. Ooh. Oh. I wanted to flip these. Oh, these look like lights, not switches. Okay. Well. Uh. I think my options are limited. Okay, so here's the rules, everybody. No smoking. Spins are prohibited. We'll see about that. Fasten seatbelt. Done. Solo from front seat only. Well, oh, my passenger's gone, so we're good there. Open window to here only. Oh, that button does nothing. Boring. Uh, okay, oh, this does, oh, this is my trim and my flaps. Okay. I okay. Well, now that I've familiarized myself with the insides of the cockpit, not that it really matters much because I am probably going to crash. Um, it's just uh, all right. My flaps are working. Um, I don't think this has a parking brake, so we're just going to go. Oh, yo, Wallops um, is going to be pretty cool soon. I mean, with the Electron launching, like, what? Sorry that, like, my head is covering the altimeter and all that. You know, I did have chat set up on this view, but it's not showing up on this view. But if I switch to this view... Oh, Lord. Oh god. I need to fix this. Okay. Um well, let's go find a launch pad. So I know that SpaceX has uh, a launch pad and landing pad here. Um I actually may need help because I do not know the Vandenberg landscape very well at all. Your god will not help you. No. Do you see that flight sim that Microsoft sent? I just seen. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. She gets a lot of sweet perks. Uh, much so much deserved though. She is very good tech YouTuber. I have not had the pleasure of meeting her, but I've heard good things. I feel like the launch pads are south. I could be completely mistaken though. I know that some of them are in the mountains. Alright. 
Pope Vandenberg really quick on the Google Maps. Okay, I was right. Yep. Okay, they're over here. Okay, so we're going at a really, really slick 100 knots, so we should be there in about 7 hours. Turn on real-time air traffic. Uh, I have the internet version of that. I don't know what that does, but... Somebody is definitely near me. Um, I feel like... Oh! Oh, hi! Apparently, if you hold the S button, it'll look at you. I do not know why. Um, if you stall, just pitch down. You feel like you're going to stall this poor cub. But I'm I'm flying level, man. Look at that. No hands. By the way, I saw somebody uh, compliment my key. Uh, there's a lot of lights going on right now. My green screen is like... Well... Three feet-ish behind me. Okay, so we're coming up to some launch complexes. Uh, what's really cool with Vandenberg launches is the scenery is like super unique and distinct. Um, because it's like in the mountains and in the hills. Like this rocket just like appears out of the hills. Uh, big bummer though about Vandenberg is that it's foggy as all hell and oftentimes you, uh, a launch happens and you can't see it. Um, oftentimes launch has happened because they're classified. Uh, this is where a lot of, uh, I actually have a video coming up on Kennedy Space Center versus Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, and Vandenberg Air Force Base, uh, launches rockets from this location primarily because it does polar orbits. Uh, so it'll fly north or fly south because there's ocean north and south of Vandenberg. Um, you cannot really do that from Kennedy. You can technically do it from Kennedy, but you waste a ton of Delta V, like avoiding populated areas. So your best bet if you need to fly in a polar orbit, which we typically do south, fly south, is to fly to Vandenberg. Um, and you know what likes to fly polar orbits? Spy satellites. They love it because they can just go around the planet constantly and basically constantly survey the entire planet. Uh, so that's why a lot of super secret stuff is launched from here. Um, also, um, so we are actually passing over a complex right now. Actually, I believe this is where ULA is. Oh, yo, we go. We're going to top her off. We're going 120 knots, baby. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what we're passing right now is ULA's launch pad, which is actually was originally built for the space shuttle. Yep, that was that was the pad. Um, it was originally built for the space shuttle uh, because back in the 80s they wanted to send the space shuttle on polar orbits to put up spy satellites, uh, but also uh, do um, uh, experiments uh, above the, uh, the on the ice caps, essentially, doing some uh, uh, scanning and photography and things of that nature. Um, but then Challenger happened, and because Challenger happened, they, NASA kind of rethought the whole space program and was like, we need to be really risk averse, and polar orbits on the space shuttle are like the opposite of risk averse, so they, they canceled it. But it got so close that they actually had the um, they built a, a, their own little VAB. They had uh, the launch tower all built. Um, they brought over pretty much all of the boiler plate or pathfinder things you could uh, to get it ready. Um, and there were crews assigned. There was legit crews assigned. Um, and it just challenger happens, you know. So. Now, United Launch Alliance launches the Delta IV Heavy from that pad, so it got resurrected. We got Jeb on my 9 o'clock here. 
Um, so I really wish I could tell you more about these launch pads. Um, I'm pretty sure up here on the right is SpaceX's though. Um, so let me get a little closer. I'm not sure if SpaceX's launch pad though um, has any signage. Uh, from Vandenberg. I know they went up and painted it up at Kennedy, but they don't really do many launches out of Vandenberg, especially return to landing site launches, RTLS. I am totally going to stall. We're going about 65 knots. The cow in Cuba ruined our East Coast Polar orbit launches. I, that's over my head. Go watch his video, though. Uh, well, that's Vandenberg, guys and girls. Um, I do not see... Um, we just flew over everything. But that was definitely where SpaceX's uh, launch site is. They also fly uh, ICBMs out of here still. Uh, they take to fly them out and basically kind of crash them into the Pacific uh, with no warheads on them uh, just to make sure they work. So they fire off like Minuteman missiles uh, every so often, maybe once a year. Um, that's like a to be ready, like mission readiness stuff. I feel like I can land this airplane anywhere, it's just so slow. I'm also kind of want to do a flip. Oh, that was scary. Okay, let's give it some altitude. We'll do the flip. We'll do the flip and we're going down. Three times a year. I want to do wallops next, uh, Joe. Alright. Yo, we're going to do an aileron roll. Three, two, one. Oh, that was painful. Pull up. Okay. Wow. Oh, that was scary. All right. Yeah. Piper was a good idea, I, th I think, but we ain't flying this guy again. He's way too slow. How many people are on the stream right now? I'm completely oblivious. 58. Uh, we've been pretty consistent. Oh, jeez. That's what I get for not looking at the airplane. All right. We're going to put her down on this road right up here. Oh shit, this thing really drops airspeed really fast. We should probably not kill the engine. Excuse my language, everybody. That... Oh yeah, this thing does not need much airspeed to stay airborne. Oh, she's screaming. hitting the brake button, but I'm not even sure if this airplane has a brake. Oh, boy. That was interesting. Oh, there's two people in it again. Okay. And there's the Pacific Ocean. Alright. Boy, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. This is definitely a new experience for me. Um, that's the stall horn. Yeah. <laughs> The U.S. accidentally killed a cow in the 60s on a thor Abel rocket launch. Oh, thor Abel rocket launch. Uh, we stopped East Coast polar launches after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, cows, man. They're bad for space flight. Don't ever forget that, everybody. All right, yo. We are going over here. We're going to fly to Wallops. Look, my computer's doing that thing again. Stop it. Um, I fly out of my home airport, Reagan, but I don't want us to take forever. Uh, hold on. We gotta, I gotta, like, click out of the game really quick and then come back in. It's doing this weird. Doing this weird thing. Okay. We are gonna fly. I don't want to take off at Wallops. I want to take off. That's just called a oh, high hopes, okay. 
Sawyer. Because I want to touch down at Wallops. Um, we're going to take off from a farm. Set his departure. We are not going to fly the cub. We are going to fly... The minivan of the sky, the grand caravan, I think. Lisa, thank you so much. I really appreciate you becoming a member. You are appreciated. Friendly reminder, everybody, I am uh, now on Patreon. Uh, I am working on really building out this YouTube channel and making more content for everybody, so... Every penny uh, people help uh, provide to ID More Space just goes towards towards more content, really. So, if you want more space videos, consider becoming a patron or a member. I really, really, really appreciate it. So, Lisa, thank you so much. It was very nice of you. What video are you working on? I'm working on two videos right now. Uh, the one that should be releasing next week. Oh, Anderson Airfield, Jeb. I, and I also picked the Caravan. I was moving too fast, sorry. Um, it should only be a few minute flight. But I thought, why not take off, take off from a farm? Oh, wow. Confession, I know exactly where this farm is, everybody. Uh, this is, it is Route 667, right behind me. Anderson Farm. Wow. Okay. I'm flying a DHL caravan. Is there life on sun? If there is, they're very uncomfortable. No, there's definitely no life on the sun. Uh, no biological organism, at least. Too hot. You melt before you get there. Not a good day to be a anything near the sun. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, I should probably set up my joystick. Okay, there we go. Pull up. Come on, get it. All right. All right, everybody. We are going to go east. TJ's videos live there. That's why they're so fire. I like it. I don't know if I define them as fire, but uh, they are certainly different. I think. I like to think. Okay. We are going to fly to Wallops. So we should be there in just a few minutes. I'm looking to see Jeb. I don't see... Oh, I see Jeb on my six over there. I keep calling him Jeb because that's the name he goes by on my Discord. Uh, a lot of people on my Discord play this game. We play together. We played together last night. So if uh, if you want to uh, be a part of my Discord, patreon.com slash I need more space. I'm going to stop. I'm gonna stop. I feel weird about that. So, yeah, just thanks for watching and chilling. We're going to Wallops. We did collab. Oh, you are a Jeb on YouTube too. Okay, so that makes sense. We did collab uh, very shortly on a live stream, uh, but we totally need to do something. just really pretty out here.
Go full brake, full power flaps, 10 degrees. Does this airplane have the power flap feature? I don't know what a power flap is. This will be cool to watch as I live near Reagan Airport. As do I, Hydroshock. As do I. That is my airport. It is the best airport in the country, in my opinion. Small flies. You can go pretty much anywhere. And uh, I can literally wake up from my bed. From the time I wake up in my bed to the time I'm sitting in an airplane is like 20 minutes. 25 minutes. It's kind of awesome. I probably should have asked everybody to buckle their seatbelts, but if you haven't buckled your seatbelts yet, well, you asked for it. Okay, well, this is the inside. Okay, lovely. Uh, I'm just kind of looking out my windows. This is kind of... That's very sweet. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just pressing buttons on the keyboard right now. Because I don't know what most things do. Uh, just so you know, the number two button makes you look backwards. Alright, we're going to not do that. Jeb, I lost Jeb. Hearing all the Patuxent. Oh, Patuxent ATC. Connor, Patuxent covers Eastern Shore. would be sick. I need to convince my wife that uh, that's a good idea. Tori, you may know this. With approve, prior approval, can you do a touch and go at the shuttle landing facility? I'm pretty sure that you can. I know people do fly flyovers over it. Um, maybe you can't actually do a touch and go, but I'm curious. Okay, here's wallops. So the actual wallops here, um, there's not much to look at here. Um, it's just an airport essentially with some hangars. Um, NASA does do a lot of cool space stuff here, but there's not really anything really to look at. Uh, the military does do a lot of trainings here. What we will do, though, is this is the Chincoteague Causeway here, straight ahead, um, which takes you out to Chincoteague Island. Um, but if you want to go to Wallops Island, which is where the rocket launches are, you need to um, come out over here. Some facts about the Wallops Island um, range. Uh, it's where the Little Joe 1 was launched for testing Mercury, uh, testing the Mercury, uh, what do you call it, uh, launch escape system. It's also where the first Orion launch escape system was launched. They are famous for their sounding rockets and their uh, the launches of the Antares rocket and soon to be Electron rocket. They also recently launched a stupid fast former ICBM by Northrop. I can't remember what it was. But it was a payload for the NRO. Uh, that thing got to uh, uh, max Q faster than any rocket that size I've ever seen before in my life because it was just all solids, full blast. So, it was awesome. Um, off to our left, or this way I guess, uh, that is um, Paxaproke and Potomac. Oh, okay. Um, 
that's Shingatig. So we are actually now coming up on the launch complexes. So we're gonna just pump the brakes here. This is where they launch. I don't know if any of it is actually populated, but like with buildings and stuff. But it looks like there's something here. You know what? I'm going to put us down. Minotaur. Thank you, Jeb. See, I know things, but I also forget names of stuff. I don't know what a PPR means, but I'll take your word that it'll be hard. How far is Walps for me in real life? Three... Well, if Wallops is four hours from me. Okay. Okay, we are... This is where the launch complex is. I was going to try to land. Oh, I did reverse thrust. That was cool. What plane does it? So these are the launch complexes we're flying over right now. Uh, which just look like barns because... The AI probably did not know what to do with it. But right above here, right here is where uh, all of the rocket launches for Wallops happen. Isn't that nice? I was really hoping we'd see something more, but I guess it wasn't a priority for Microsoft to build out launch pads. They do have vehicle assembly buildings out here, uh, so they can mate the payloads to the boosters. Um, they do station resupplies here with the Antares. That is actually one of the vehicle assembly buildings that we just flew over. And the pads are straight ahead. Oh, probably should have done flaps. Good thing I have crashes off. Well, I might not be landing. Alright, we're literally flying over the launch pads right now. That was a launch pad. There's the water tower, which is currently just a picture on the ground. That is the famous water tower that was right next to one of the on that Antares crash. Break. We stopped. That was fun. Oh. I hear Jeb coming. <laughs> All right. Jeb, I want to go put her down uh, at Wallops. Let's just let's do an appropriate landing there. I chose poorly. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna give the plane a little bath. I have exceeded the taxi limit. I'm breaking all the rules in this game. Alright, so I'm literally... Uh, okay, so... Okay, where this building here is on the left, that is a... Uh, that's a launch pad. And then right here is another launch pad. And that is where the Electron will launch. This is a lot more boring looking than KSC. So, oh no, I hit a house. Oh no. Can I go backwards? Well, this did not end the way I was hoping it would end. All right, we're gonna have to call an abort. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to pull, call an abort because uh, we got housed. I got stuck in a house at Wallops. Uh, but at least it was next to a couple launch pads. Press Y. What in the world is this? Is this that, like, god mode thing I heard about? What in the frack? Ta what is this? What? What? I'm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> what that just happened? This boat, this plane floats. Yo, this plane floats. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna see lunch. I am in the middle of the <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. Is this plane really float or is this that anti-crash mode? I think this is that anti-crash thing because now I'm at full thrust, full power, and I can't get beyond 20 knots. Oh, there's Jeb. I didn't know that there was a fast mode. We now have to putt back to shore. Okay. Jeb, we may have to quit. Because I'm not getting in the air. Anytime soon. I can't. I can't. Activate submarine. Yeah, that would be the play. There's other space things to visit, though. I would like to go see where Electron launches, though, from New Zealand. That'd be fun. I think McGregor would be kind of boring. Because it's going to be the middle of nowhere in Texas. I've been out there once before, and I don't know. I haven't been to McGregor, but I've been to that part of Texas. There's a lot of flatness. McGregor looks nice, and Mejia is cool. Off to Rocket Labs New Zealand site. Yes, I think that's where I want to go. So... Uh... To like switch. Here we go. Okay, daylight over here now. Okay, let's see. Oh, Japan. So New Zealand's down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is Australia? Where are you, Marcus House? Okay. New Zealand. Oh lord. Okay, isn't this New Zealand? I'm gonna need a Google Maps this. Hold on. Listen, Beach Borden fan, it's... Wait, New Zealand's... De so oh, you're... You're right. I don't know my maps. Alright, so it is...
Okay. Takes off from right here. Yep. All right, takes off from right here. And looks like we got a little airport right here. So that's departure. Okay. Uh, let's pick a new airplane because I'm an airplane diva. And we're going to pick the... A bonanza. Because I like to party. All right. Icon A5. New Zealand is usually left off the maps, but yet yeah, it's there at all. I'm happy it's there. Take off at Lukla Airport. Not space related, but badass. Baikonur would be cool too. Ooh, Baikonur would be cool. Baikonur would be cool. I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight. Thought this was kind of a little bit unique thing. I'm happy to take ideas. Oh, somebody did ask me what video I'm working on next. Um, Kennedy Space Center versus Vandenberg Air Force Base. All of the pluses and minuses and side stories. And, uh, you know, it's just another one of my versus uh, episodes that I'm really excited about. It. It's a good one. It's a good one. Steven, thank you for watching. No. Yeah, Aaron, I'm really trying to build up a good stable of these because they're just people, things, questions people ask all the time, you know, and there is really solid reasoning behind it, you know, um, for having uh, these things located in different areas. I mean, there's some politics behind the way NASA locations are placed, primarily to make sure that politicians will always vote in favor of nasa because if they have a nasa facility in your state you're likely going to like getting nasa budgets because it gets your citizens jobs and jobs equals votes usually not always but it helps oh are we starting in the air i think we're starting in the air i think Yep, and my, and my, uh, air, okay, I don't know what I did to make us take off from the air, but we're starting in the air, I also have no idea where we are located right now, we are flying north, which is the, 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 the direction we don't want to fly in, we want to go, Southeast. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, Jeb's are there up there. Already ahead of me. You're gonna wait off the coast in my amphibious plane. Oh, that would have. Oh, I'm smart. So I never claimed to be smart or good at this game. I am having fun though. See, I picked that. Why did I not? Why did it take me off from the sky? I don't know what I'm doing. Although New Zealand, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, let's see, look at the window. Wow. I never have to leave my basement again. I can just use this game to look out the world. Wow. Look at that. Wow, we have had 1,800 people tune into the stream tonight. It's kind of fun. I might just make this stream unlisted. I don't think most people would like to watch this thing, especially in its entirety. Live streams are weird. I'm not sure what anybody thinks about that, but... It's just weird.
So while we're uh, going to Mejia, does anybody have any space questions? Because I'm further than I thought we were. If I'm gonna be honest, we're a few we're a few minutes away. We're not that far away, but. I can tell you the next episode we're working on after the uh, Bandenberg versus KSC um, spawned prim this spawned primarily from conversations on my Discord as well as people in the comments. Uh, 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 International Space Station versus the uh, Gateway. Uh, what's different about them? Clearly a lot. Um, but, you know... Uh, just we're we're going to be comparing uh, the technical specifications of the two um, stations and their the potential they have. Why did the VAB look different in your promo, Rick? I pulled a screenshot. I I made that thumbnail. Um, I didn't know what it was going to look like, so I thought. Let's give it a try. Because that was my first time doing that. Well, we have a bunch of new viewers. Where, are, where is everybody from? I wish I was going faster. If only it looked that good. I know. We got India. We got San Francisco Bay Area. Use God Mode again. Yeah, see, if I use God Mode again, I'm going to end up in outer space, I think. I hit that last time, and everything broke. I think I know why, though. I'm going to disable my controller, which acts up. Okay, why? Okay. I think I'm in god mode now. Oh my god. New Zealand Center Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X ray goal. I think I found something I'm way more interested in, Jeb. I'm currently at fifteen thousand feet and climbing. Okay, wait, how do I go forward? <laughs> I'm having too much fun going to speed. Wait. I Look at the atmosphere change. How do I go forward? W? Oh, that button. Yeah, but this is fun. All right, we'll go over Mejia while I also am at 40,000 feet. Whoa. Okay, let's not do that. Come on. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yo, we gonna break the sound barrier in this poor guy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. We are currently at 197 knots and climbing. 200 knots. Um, yeah, we gonna go to space next, okay? Oh, this plane does not like going this fast. Shake it so much. <laughs> oh, 
no. Oh no. I guess it doesn't have the aerodynamics to go any faster than this. I hope you all got your pew bags ready. This is what overspeed does. If you have crashed, it would rip your wings apart, ultimately killing everyone. Mm. Okay, well, good to know. Okay. Well, while we're um, falling to our deaths, let's look around this beautiful cabin. The shadows is just, the shadow details are just great. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a table back there. That's very nice. Alright, we're still falling to our deaths. Okay. Uh... Oh, pull up. Okay. Oh, boy. This was not a good idea. We can't stop going down. Jeb, I made a mistake. Um... I'm in the water again. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the engine. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I wanna wait for Jeb to get here before we go. <laughs> So the plane, I guess, was going so fast, it could not control itself. Yes, we must call Miss Tree for pickup. Oh no, it's doing that thing again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I didn't mean to do any of that. Oh, shh. Hmm. Okay. New Zealand Center Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf is tied okay. Beachcraft B36 27 miles southeast of Wiro. This is me transition Charlie airspace. Winging it. Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X ray golf New Zealand Center. Squawk zero tree tree tree. Squawk zero tree 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 beachcraft Sierra X ray golf. I'm having a bad time. I'm having a really bad time here. <laughs> this is not working the way we want it to work. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. We're just gonna take off from here. This is a complete nightmare. Well, New Zealand Center Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf is type Beachcraft B thirty six two six miles southeast of Wiro one thousand. Okay, 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 okay. This game had been going pretty flawlessly until we got to New Zealand. I think it's because we're on the other side of the planet. That must be it. Okay, so this is where... Yep, there's Jeb. Oh, that's cool. Well, you can't... There's no pad out, but... You know, Jeb, at least Baikonur's on the on the right side of the, uh, what do you call it? Equator. But this is very scenic. This definitely is the most beautiful launch site in the world. 
Baikonur is the opposite of this, actually. <sighs> okay. I need to get... I need to get out of here. I need to get out of uh, New Zealand. I'm sorry, everybody. That was stressful. I... Um, need to not do that. <sighs> My heart... All right, we gotta go Kazakhstan. It's got part of me. I just have to put the sun on the right part of the planet. I am God. Moscow State University. This airport will be. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we did miss Port Canaveral. Yeah, I know. I know it's in Kazakhstan. I am just struggling at my geography right now. I not think I'd be pulling out my... Um, if I type this in. Hmm. Trying to figure out the closest one way. Because if you just type in Baikonur, uh, you don't get. Can anybody help me find this, please? I... It's over here. Over here somewhere. Well, there are not many airports in this part of the world. I'll tell you that much. It's like over here somewhere. Okay, they have to land. Oh, look, a dot. I want to say I'm in the right area, but I don't know. This is where my world tour starts to fall apart, everybody. So we are now in the part of the planet that I am not exactly very well known to know. Um, yeah, it's, it's in this part of the world. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody help me? International borders would be helpful. Yeah.
There's just these little tiny airports all over the place. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, go to star. We could go to Star City instead. Oh, Star City. Would it be called something in Russian? I'm coming up empty. I think they take off and land in Star City when they when the astronauts would go there. Okay. Um let's not do this because I don't know where that is. Um, is there anywhere else in the continental United States anybody wants to go? If they don't know, I'm going to put a 747 in space. That's the only other option we have here tonight before I, before we head out. So, um, trying to think if there's any other place that would be interesting to see from the sky. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. There is one in Alaska. I have no... Oh! Pacific Spaceport Complex. I mean, we could go there. It's in Kodiak. They very, very, very rarely launch from here. Like, almost never. We could go there. Omelek, that'd be kind of cool. Boy, there's so much space history, man. It's just like so cool, man. Alright, so the spaceport is right here. All right, we're going to go check out Kodiak, and then we're going to put a 747 uh, into low Earth orbit, and then we're going to go to bed because uh, it's late and I got a job. <sighs> yeah, I know, like, putting a 747 in the space is kind of sick. Is this streaming on my Twitter, by the way? I thought I set it up for that, but I have no idea if it actually works. Yeah, it's just not uh, working on Twitter, so... Thanks for... Oh, Steven... Thanks for hanging out with me and us. It's not just me, it's us. There's lots of us here. Um, that's not the right button. Oh. I'm pressing the wrong button, sorry. Control space, reset view. Okay. That's why I should look at my notes. 
Okay, kill the break, full throttle. Let's go to look at Kodiak Pacific Spaceport Complex. Spaceport Complex, whatever. I don't know. We never use it. I can't remember what it's called. We're going to the Pacific Spaceport Complex in Kodiak, Alaska. It is... Why am I... Oh, I should go faster. I need to pay attention. I need to pay attention. I'm sorry, everybody. There's an 18-wheeler just losing its mind at 3 o'clock, by the way. All right. All my flops are not down. What settings am I playing on? Pfft. Not the highest, but not the lowest. Like, mid-high levels. You can tell I'm a gamer. Alright, so the, the complex is like right there, apparently. Oh, it's beyond. Yo, this game is nuts. It's too bad there's no rockets. Although, I've heard people are, go are working on modding it to get a space shuttle on here. Um, but I guess you'd have to start it from a really high altitude and then just do landings. Like, I want to do space shuttle acrobatics. Sam, thanks for looking that up, buddy. I'm pulling up, relax. Oh, too fast. Hmm. Yeah, I'm lost. Okay. We're putting 747 in the space. I'm done with this. Let's do it. We're going to space. Space shuttle's not in the game. Yeah, like a realistic shuttle landing sim? I would play that. What would be cool is getting the shuttle to land on, like, short runways. Why? Because I'm a nerd. Airliners... 747. And we are going to go to somewhere nobody's expecting. Oh, I know what we're going to do. I want to go see what the office building in DC looks like. So we're going to take off from my home airport, Ronald Reagan National Airport. Set as departure. Yes, only subscribers are allowed on the 747, so if you have not subscribed yet, uh, please do. That way you get a free ticket to space. Step right up. Although if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, I have no idea why you're doing that. But thanks, I thank you. Thank you very much. Is the space shuttle in the game? Not yet. But 
Microsoft has said that the modding community is open to modding the game. So I also know that there are people also building fighter jets for this. They're importing their fighter jet models and getting them all working in the game. So soon to come, I would love uh, to find a 14 in here. Oh yeah. Oh, I've taken off from this runway so many times in my life. Oh, she a thick girl. Oh boy. She pretty though. It... Oh my god, the Washington Monument is literally just a box. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I just have to look around really quick. Oh boy. Got a little knobby knob over here, a little knobby knob over there. Oh, a little TV. Oh, flashlight. Can I press this flashlight button? Well, what the heck? Oh, I can turn on my shoulder heaters. Fun. Okay. Oh, this is my window. I know that. All right. Okay. Wow, this game is this game is something. All right. Well, Washington D.C. is over this way. Uh, straight ahead is essentially the Pentagon. Oh, yep. There's a sign for it. Duh. There's Roslyn in Arlington County. Down over here is Alexandria. So, uh, yeah, and Nationals Park is right uh, right over there. My favorite baseball team. Okay, well, end of the, the tour, TJ. Let's go do a quick flyby, fly around of your home. And then let's go to space. I hope I have enough runway. Just kind of realizing this. This is a really short runway for a very big airplane. I probably should have done had the parking brake on and then full thrust, got him revved up and then go and not do a rolling start. I'm not feeling super confident right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Something happened. The airplane just quit. Okay, we're going to try that again. What the heck was that? It was just like, nope, you're going too slow. We're not going to do it. It just quit. Yeah, Andrews would have been a much better... <laughs> it just stopped. Brake is on. It turned the brake on on itself. Washington Tower, Boeing Alpha Sierra. Okay, okay. We are, listen, I didn't hit the brakes, all right? We're going to go full thrust. We're going to get this thing up to speed. And then we're going to release our brakes. See, look, it's not moving. I got, th all right. All right. There we go. Feeling better about this. Oh, flaps. Good call, Connor. Keep forgetting those flaps.
I pulling up too soon? I have to basically just take this to the end of the runway. It keeps breaking on me. You know what I say to you now that you guys have taught me how to cheat? We're doing this. We're cheating. I'm not put. Uh, it's doing it on its own. The plane is quitting. I'm not doing anything. It just is like, you're not going fast enough. We're not going to do this. Uh, oh, I should have started way higher. Proving to be a much harder flight than I wanted. The airplane just keeps pulling up now. We're going to space. Yep, we're going to space. Uh, space is like 625,000 feet, I think, if I remember right. Someone correct me. I'm on rocket mode. That's what it looks like from the inside. I was tell you. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Yes, 747 needs more space. This is the sign-off, everybody. We're putting a 747. Oh, there's the moon. Hello, moon. All right, I think we're we're officially past the Carmen line now. Wow. We are at 800,000 feet. Let's see when it stops. Wow, look at that moon. Isn't that pretty? Computer. How many feet up is the space station? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the habitable volume on the ISS no. is 13,696 no. cubic no. feet. Did no. that answer your question? No. 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 It didn't. Thanks for your feedback. Yeah. Yeah. This is going a lot higher than I thought it would let me. We are at... Oh, wait. Oh, no, we're only at 126,000 feet right now. So we're not at the Carmen line yet. I'm sorry. We're now at 130... Oh, look at the stars. There's stars. Yo, we're going to space, man. Now we're at 150,000 feet. Okay. Oh boy. I think we're there. Now I think we're there. Okay. Oh, this high.
Yeah, Tori, how high do you send your balloons up? Whoa, look at the stars. I really wish this thing would stop, like, spinning. Oh, okay, there we go. What is happening? Yo, can we go to the moon? We're at 220,000 feet right now. 223,000 feet. Can somebody look up how many feet up the space station is? I have a feeling we're higher than the space station. No, we can't be. We can't be higher than the space station. I'm just too excited. We are now at... I imagine... This is just so bright. You know, it's actually funny. The higher we go, the more contrasty the shadows get because the sun is so intense because we don't have an atmosphere. And also, um, we're up so high that my airplane will have zero control because there's no wind. Oh, there we go. 200. It stopped at 275. Yo, what the hell is in front of us? Are you seeing that? What is that? Is there something up there in, or in orbit with us? Am I... Is anybody seeing this? This. Right to the right of the wing. Look, when I spin... in the world okay okay we can stop spinning okay before we go down i need to figure out what that is all right so let's just go hmm How fast do you think this thing will go? <laughs> it's just gonna... Imagine just like seeing this. Oh god, oh no. Where <laughs> did get that? Hmm. Does that mean what the clicking means? I don't think that's a good thing. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. If one of these red switches might help us, maybe. Oh no. No? Okay. Oh no. This is not... We do not want to be in this position. Let's see. Uh, map. Oh, uh, there we go. Increase the floodlight brightness. That's going to help. Oh, much better. Okay. The rotations are getting worse. We're going to start black. We're, if we would be blacked out by now. We would be completely blacked out by now. Speed call outs. Okay. Uh, uh, 440 knots. 450 knots. Uh. Oh shoot, we are falling fast, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got stable. Well, that was fun. Alright, everyone. That's it for the stream. 
Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I guess I did make it back to the runway. I made it back to a runway. And uh, that's it. Thanks for the love, Jeb. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'm sure we'll do this again at some point soon. All right. Thanks, everyone.